Uh, hello there everyone and welcome along to the commentary standard of excellence, Rockstar Pool 69 with myself, Ian Pool. How are you all doing? Welcome along as well to episode number 26 today for the uh, Chinese Grand Prix in Season 2 with Sportscore Racing Point F1 team. A uh, bit of bad news to start the episode, we didn't get one of our engine upgrades, but look at that race. That race could be interesting. It's going to start off meh, then it's going to go wet, and then it's going to go bing at the end. So we've got to be on the right tyre at the right time, folks. Uh, we got to finish third or better. That should be easy. Bar eight. Uh, we got to Baku on this uh, section. So we didn't get that engine upgrade, but we did get that one, which really does annoy me. And we can't uh, do anything with it yet. So, yeah. Uh, not going to lie, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit disappointing. But uh, we are the best overall engine now uh, over the Mercedes team, which is good. We're still the best aero uh, package as well, and we're the worst chassis. But we hope to rectify that by the time we come to, uh, to Baku. That's uh, what we're doing. But um, yeah, before we go to the uh, championship standards, if you did miss the last episode, spoilers, uh, we're two for two. Uh, you should go check that episode out though because that was a fantastic race. So let's take a look at the championship shall we and two victories on the season mean that we are top of the championship followed by Lewis Hamilton in second, Sergio Perez in third after his fantastic recovery drive from P15. Uh, Ken Magnussen, and Sebastian Vell, Valtteri Bottas, Max Verstappen, Devon Butler, Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc round out your top 10 in points. And in the constructors, we're already 20 points ahead of the Mercedes team, followed by Ferrari, Haas, Red Bull, McLaren, and Williams, who I believe got off the mark with, uh, was it uh, Alex Albon? Yeah, who had a fantastic drive during that race. Everyone else yet to score so far. So, we are going to go get uh, qualified. Practice first, we do practice first. <laughs> Then we uh, go get qualified for the uh, Chinese Grand Prix and, uh, well, it's going to be an interesting one, folks. So we'll see you guys on the start line for what should be an exciting Chinese Grand Prix. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience. And the flat, open to the elements location, test their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing and overtaking is available into turn one and, of course, down the kilometre-long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Paul. They're starting towards the back of the field today in a car that is fast, so they'll be disappointed, won't they? It's not a nice feeling, I promise you. They've got a quick car underneath them, but they've got onto the grid today and they need a pair of binoculars to see the start lights. They'll be desperate for a good start to make up for some of that deficit. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Devon Butler put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Kevin Magnussen and Bottas, Perez, Grosjean, Albon and Sebastian Vettel, Poole, Weber, Lando Norris and Hülkenberg, Raikkonen, Leclerc. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Daniel Kvyat and Antonio Giovinazzi, Stroll and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. <sighs> We're not going to talk about qualifying, folks. So uh, to save us talking about qualifying, we're going to talk about what happened between the last clip you saw and this clip, which was that we got an update from Cody's, and here is that update. Update uh, 1.07. Uh, league difficulty goes up to 110. Uh, F2 cars no longer start sprint race or uh, one shot with old tyres. F1 setups uh, no longer can go on F2 cars. Grid penalties, uh, they apply properly. There was a 
glitch with the grid penalties for some reason. I don't have a clue what that was. But this is the big one now. Francis Pit Lane. They uh, did Francis Pit Lane for us. Uh, that gets sorted. Uh, cars in the Pit Lane, yeah. Report codes. Repute GPU. F2. Uh, helicopter. So, yeah. We get, uh, we get a load of... Uh, good stuff uh, in this update which is uh, pretty good if you ask me but uh, back on to the race and uh, it says we should start on the, the uh, medium tyres we're not going to start on the medium tyre no oh no we're going to start on the soft tyre and the reason we're not going to start on the soft tyre is because of that rain that's coming we know the rain is coming we just don't know when exactly the rain is coming so if we start on the soft and just go as far as we can with it. I would hope that we can get to about lap 6, lap 7. Then they'll kick out DRS. The second they disable DRS, that's when we're coming in. But uh, we have got to have the race of a lifetime. To even get close to uh, Devon Butler. Because that Ferrari, Devon Butler, he is on it like a car on it. So we just got to do what we can to minimise the damage of qualifying. Uh, it should have been 12, but it's P11 thanks to Charles's penalty, which uh, was very nice for him. So there's the strategy. <sighs> Let's do this, folks. Here we go then, folks. This is going to be good for the Chinese Grand Prix. And five red lights are out, and it's lights out, and away we go. And it's a pretty decent start at the front of the field for one of the Ferraris. We're still mired back there by fighting with the two McLarens. We're going to do an around the outside of turn one job. There's Devon Butler, Mr. Smugass, uh, in the way as we go. Whoa, three wide with, I think that's Grosjean and one of the Williamses. I want to say that's Albon, not, uh, not George Russell. Uh, not entirely sure there as we send another one down the inside on Sergio Perez. Give him some room. A little bit of contact between the pair of us as we go through turn number, I think that's turn six. I don't want to say for sure. We're still side by side with Sergio Perez around the outside of the fast sweepers. And now up the inside of turn eight. And uh, put us into P... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. P6 already from P12. We're flying. Actually, that wasn't uh, Butler. We passed it with Sebastian Vettel. Who's that in the background fighting? Who who was that in the background fighting? I believe that was Hulkenberg. With uh, oh, three wide into the <laughs> three wide into the tight uh, corner here. That's three wide. That's uh, Leclerc. That's Raikkonen. They've split uh, and Hulkenberg. They split Raikkonen, and they're going to be side by side down this long back straight. As uh, who's that? That's one of the. Mercedes uh, there, that was Lewis Hamilton passing the man Gasly. Let's see it again, here he is, yeah, he pops right out on the long straight Mercedes power against Honda power, there's only one winner going to be at that fight and it's not going to be the Honda. That's, whoa, who's that flying through the inside? That, that was me! We've uh, absolutely done Verstappen and Mag Magnussen. And we're up into Pete, whoa, that's a wide line. You don't want to be that wide through, uh, yikes, as we go back. See that again. Don't want to be that wide uh, through the corner. As we go side by side with uh, the man Gasly and fly down the ins outside. Nilmus up the inside of Hamilton. We might get Hamilton. We're into P2 almost. We're fighting for P2 from P12, folks. This is incredible racing. We're around the outside. We're gonna, just going to fling it up the inside and hopefully we uh, we get the job done. I still cannot believe we did that. Yes, we do. Fling it up the inside. Very deep, though, into t into the hairpin. And we're coming back out. We're right behind Lewis Hamilton yet again. Good Lord, that was an epic first lap in a little bit. And it may not be over. Oh, oh, well, hello. There was a bit of contact there. Lewis Hamilton checked up and uh, got into our front wing. But uh, I think all is uh, good in love and war. There was uh, the man Gasly get, tried to pass Hamilton for P3, but uh, that wasn't uh, going to happen. And look at the man Gasly. He's struggling like hell now. He's uh, dicked up Verstappen, I believe. Yeah, he's dicked up Verstappen right into the back of Kevin Magnussen. And that might not uh, end particularly well. Was Perez side by side with uh, one of the Hasses there behind us? I think he was. Yes, he was. Who is that? That is. Uh... Who is that? 
I don't actually know which of the horses that is uh, there. I think it might be Bottas. But you got uh, Verstappen trying to get past Magnussen here. That's going to be for P5. You got, uh, I believe that's Bottas. Because I think Leclerc's back there somewhere with uh, with one of the Renaults. Yeah, there he is. He's in the background. So that's Bottas fighting with uh, Verstappen. Sorry, it's Gasly with Magnussen, Verstappen with Mag. Uh, it, you'll figure it out. <laughs> As uh, Raikkonen's about to be passed by George Russell for P16. So actually that was Albon uh, up at the front there with uh, with his move. And uh, oh, big lock up from Russell and Raikkonen smacks into his side. That's going to do some damage, I think. But look at this. We've uh, finally caught up with ourselves. Now the rain is starting to fall. This is uh, much earlier than we thought it would be, folks. And you got to keep up with uh, Devon Butler here, because Mr. Smugface, who's who had an absolute epic qualifying. Let's let's not uh, let's not discount to what uh, Devon Butler did, because he did an absolute job in qualifying. And uh, I think he deserved pole position there, but uh, we're going to have to uh, relieve him of that pole position as we come round this long sweeper onto the long back straight and uh, DRS is still going to be available as we start gaining on uh, Butler as we open the front flap it's, we're a bit far back it may be a last lap lunch it's going to be a big one shades of Rick Bow he, oh, he locked up and uh, left us the room and uh, no he'll just hold on to that uh, for the moment as we go back to uh, Sebastian Vettel fight with Alexander Albon and this uh, is going to be for P9. Will uh, v Vettel get the run on Albon? Yes, he will. You would have thought the Williams have had their legs on that Ferrari down that long straight. As uh, Perez thought about a move on Bottas there, but uh, didn't get the job done. And uh, Vettel's not got the job done on Albon yet. I expected him to be uh, past there, but uh, no. Excuse you. Coming through, Alex Albon. He uh, retains P9 as we go back to this... Uh, fight with myself and uh, Mr. Smugface. We're going to fling it down the inside of turn one. That is job done. That is us in the lead. And can you believe that we have actually done that? P12 to P1. This car has come on leaps and bounds from uh, season one. Leaps and bounds. And uh, now it's uh, got to really prove itself uh, ahead of uh, the big update we got coming for uh, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Whoo! I tell you what, folks, it's going to be uh, absolutely a joy to try and even work any of that out because, oh dear me, we I don't believe we've come this uh, from P12 to P1. So driver of the day is us because no one else would have done that. They're all uh, too slow. But you can see there's three of us here, myself, Butler and Hamilton. We've all separated ourselves from uh, the rest of the pack, which I believe has uh, Gasly leading it uh, at the moment with Verstappen and Magnussen uh, in there somewhere. Bottas is uh, also in attendance. But look at that. Us three, and then you got... That looks like uh, Gasly separated himself from Magnussen. And here goes uh, K-Mag. He's uh, defending from uh, Max Verstappen. You've got Valtteri Bottas in close attendance as well. They might be ended up. They are. They're going to be free wide down into turn. The hairpin. They're all over the place behind them. Magnussen's lost out to Verstappen. Is Verstappen going to lose out to Bottas? Yes, he is. Bottas has just nicked P5 from P7. That is picking your pocket. And that is doing it the right way. As uh, I saw Perez and uh, Albon getting pretty close there. But this is uh, Charles Leclerc on uh, Lando Norris for P13. The cars are all over the place. Will Leclerc go around the outside of uh, the young uh, Brit in the McLaren? He'll try to, but will he get the momentum? Yes, he will. And move uh, Charles Leclerc up to P13 from his position. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, uh, it, we're defending from Devon Butler here. We're going to force into the outside. There may have been a little bit of contact there, wheel to wheel, between myself and the uh, F2 champion. But nothing too, uh, nothing too significant as uh, Perez starts lining up. I think Magnussen's got a problem because uh, he's being passed by everyone left, right and centre. And Perez round the outside of turn one. And that'll be job done for P6 for Sergio Perez. Meanwhile, we're up here. <laughs> oh, a bit deep into, I believe that's turn four, five. 
I'll get it right eventually. Uh, I, I actually don't know what uh, what the corners are as we get on the grass. Turn six, then into turn uh, seven. Lucas Weber has retired from the race, folks. We're not going to uh, see that on uh, here because uh, we completely forgot to, to ask the director to put that in. But still, a, a blanket covers myself, Devon Butler and Matt Lewis Hamilton. And then you got, uh, well, I assume that's the man Gasly in fourth. And then everyone else uh, right behind us, Magnussen, is about to be lined up by Alex Albon for P7. And that should be a uh, job done for the young Thai Brit driver. And it is. He's up the inside and uh, I imagine he'll be uh, long gone. As we go to Sergio Perez, who's he defending from? He's defending thin air, but he's looking. I think he's going to attack. He's going to go for Max Verstappen for P5. He went one way, then the other way. Bottas just in front of him for P4. Sergio can get it. Look at that ga shit gaggle behind them. That was, uh, that was a gaggle and a half, folks. And it looks like Perez, he's got the job done. P5 for the Mexican. And let's have a look at that uh, shit gaggle. Who, who do you think is in front of it? Magnussen. He's uh, got Vettel. He's got uh, Hulkenberg, I think that is. There's that Grosjean. You can't tell. No, that's Grosjean. You got Leclerc. You got Norris. They're all over the place, folks. So Vettel's got around Magnussen. That's uh, going to be for P8. So Magnussen's falling down the field like a lead balloon as uh, Raikkonen starts lining up Danny Kvyat for P16. And that is going to be job done. I think, no, nope, that is not for P16, that is for P17, I do apologise, because these two are up at the back of the field. So I don't know what uh, my mind was thinking there, but round the outside we'll go Raikkonen, and that's uh, another position for him as uh, we go up in the field. Uh, is Perez going to be defending from Verstappen? No, he's not, he's going to attack Valtteri Bottas. Perez is coming, he's bringing the heat, he's bringing the noise, P4! For Sergio, it's not quite done. It's not quite done. It's done now. What was I thinking of? Uh, even de worrying there. And look at the rain really coming down on lap six here. This is getting pretty close to undrivable for a lot of people as uh, Grosjean starts lining up a move on Magnussen for P9. Magnussen defends though. Fair play to uh, K Mag. He's uh, defended that. Uh, no problem, but I think he'll uh, lose out on the main straight here as uh, we've pulled away from Devon Butler a little bit out of DRS as well. But Hamilton's got DRS. He's going to swing one way, then the other way, then the other way. What are you doing? That was uh, a bit controversial there. I think uh, there was a bit of blocking going on there. Speaking of uh, blocking, <laughs> I say speaking of blocking, Bottas is uh, defending from Max Verstappen. And that Honda is just going to swing past him. He may get the toe off Sergio. And uh, that is going to be P5. If he holds it around the outside, gets the traction down, he will do. But the slippery conditions are just making it so much more difficult and greasy. And uh, I think that's going to be bucket P5 for Max Verstappen in the Red Bull Honda. Uh, as Albon starts defending from Vettel. And that's for P7 on the uh, track here. And that should be easy before the hairpin. No, Albon's going to make him work for it. Will uh, we go around the outside? Yes, we will. Will Sebastian Vettel? What was that noise? But no, Albon holds on. Fair play, Alex Albon. He's uh, showing why Williams have the faith there as Grosjean now finally gets past Magnussen. That should be jo easy job done. Look at this coming towards him, though. Oh, my God. Poor Max. He, he, sorry, came back. He's gone. Uh, Leclerc's gone round the outside. He might go round the outside of Grosjean here. No, Grosjean's going to hold on. And uh, that will be P9 and P10 for both of those respectively. Hulkenberg was uh, getting pretty close to that as well. As uh, we go back to Albon and Vettel. Will Vettel have another go into turn one? Yes, he will. This time it's a little easier and a little more. Whoa, look at that side by side through turn one. That's uh, a lot of trust in the Thai Brit driver from the uh, four-time world champion. But uh, he's coming back at him, is Alex. He's not going to give this up without a fight. And he might come out of it with the position still. Oh, he got very squirrely on the exit of the corner. And the rain is really ramping up now. We should be off these soft tyres already. But we've extended them so much. Because we're just going to go for the... Uh, we're just going to go for the overcut. 
sorry, the uh, transition onto the intermediates, uh, which we're doing right now, because you can see the conditions. They are absolutely atrocious. We're just absolutely trying to drive away from Devon Butler, and uh, there you go, DRS disabled. So this is the lap that uh, you want to come in for the intermediates, as uh, K Mag is lined up by uh, Nico Hulkenberg for P11. And uh, that should be round the outside and then up the inside of the next corner. K Mag just doesn't have an answer. I don't know what's going on with Kevin Magnuson, but uh, oh, we've got wide and whoa, big power slide as well from uh, ourselves. That's uh, that was a moment. Oh, we're coming in. So is Butler, so is Hamilton, and we're coming in for four fresh intermediate tyres and uh, a new pair of shorts because uh. I don't know what we were doing there, but uh, I think the uh, grip and these soft tyres are just about gone. So uh, let's uh, get this uh, job done, boys. Big, big stop uh, at the moment. Into our garage of 22 men carrying rubber. And uh, off we go. Did uh, Hamilton come out in front of... But no, Butler's come out in front of Hamilton. So we're still all as you were. But now we're on the intermediate tyres. This is the conditions that the AI are going to love. As uh, one of the Renaults has uh, come out. Uh, still on the soft tyres. What's he playing? That's Nico Hulkenberg. Oh, Grosjean's in the pits. That's why they didn't want a double stack. Oh, the Renault's going to absolutely get slaughtered for that. Because Nico's going to have no grip. And look at the Devon. Whoa, Devon Butler. Excuse you. He was so he was so far swinging that uh, Frank Sinatra would have been proud of that one unbelievable how wide he went in that corner it's insane but uh, yeah P3 is now belongs to Devon Butler someone else has uh, decided to stay out on the soft tyres that's going to come back and haunt him and that's Charles Leclerc up front in the lead so Haas and Renault didn't want a double stack and uh, I think Hulkenberg's going to pay for that right now because here comes Lewis Hamilton on the intermediates around the outside. Hulkenberg is best, uh, sir, to just let him go, as uh, Frozen would say, and he has done. That is uh, P for a four for Lewis Hamilton. But meanwhile, we're about to take the lead from Charles Leclerc because Charles Leclerc is just not on the right tyre. He has absolutely been hung out to dry by his team for, in favour of Valtteri Bottas and uh, you can understand why as we almost go a little deep into the hairpin and uh, we took the lead off Charles Leclerc, Devon Butler should be past him, I think Leclerc's going to get in the pits now get these intermediates on and uh, then it's uh, hope for the best time, hope that he's not done too much damage as far as losing track position is concerned uh, he may come out around about Ooh, I'm trying to see where I don't see him for the rest of the race. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty lonely race for Charles Leclerc. In fact, there goes the main field uh, coming right past him. So he may come out around about the back end of the points. But uh, there's no disputing. We are in the lead of this race, folks. This has been a great race from us. As, uh, who's that? Is that uh, K Mag? Yes, K Mag still struggling. Struggling so much, he's about to be passed by Giovanazzi. That uh, tells you how much he's uh, struggling. So, P12, Giovanazzi uh, might score some points here. If he, uh, he carries on, that Alpha seems to be uh, coming along uh, nicely. Unless it's not pitted uh, yet. Which uh, would make absolutely no sense. But uh, then again, what does? <laughs> uh, yeah, don't. Oh, he's talking about going to the dries, mate. We're on, we're on intermediate. I don't know what you're on, but uh, you are definitely uh, not having us on dries anytime soon. I think we're going on inters to the rest of the race. There is uh, no dispute in that. As uh, well, what are we doing? We're looking through our tyres, and if we do go, we're only coming in for a set of mediums. Which uh, wouldn't be uh, best served. But look at uh, Magnuson. He's still struggling. He's about to be passed by the man Gasly for P13. And that is easy as you like from the man Gasly. And job done. So move him uh, up the field. And we'll get a, another shot here. Because he's about to be passed I think by the Toro Rosso behind him. That's Hollywood Landstroll and Nico Hulkenberg. 
But Hulkenberg's attacking Stroll. They're going to split Magnussen. Watch, they're going to split him. Split him where the good mo mother intended. But, uh, oh, Magnussen's actually uh, fighting back on the man Gasly. But look at Stroll. Lance Stroll around the outside of K-Mag. And I think K-Mag's about to lose another position. Yes, he is. Move him down uh, one more position. Uh, to P, I don't know, P14, no, 15, I do apologise, he was P14 at the time of being passed by, uh, the man Gasly. But meanwhile, we're on lap 10, we've got Butler behind us, we got Hamilton coming as well. It's going to be an epic, uh, finish to this race, folks. Not going to lie, we're going to want to, uh, we're going to want to stay where we are, because if we don't, I think we're in trouble. Then again, I think uh, a lot of things, and uh, they generally don't uh, come out well. But all we can do is just, you know, just go with uh, go with what uh, what's intended. So round uh, through the uh, grand, the grandstands look very empty round the back here. Not uh, not unusual for China. We're uh, saving ERS at the same time as well. So when we uh, come under attack from uh, Mr. Smugface, we're going to have plenty of ERS to play with as well. He's not going to come past. Thou shalt not pass. Not without uh, a fight, first of all. As uh, Nico Hulkenberg lines up uh, Magnussen now. Oh, this is for P14. So it was wrong. It was P13. and So all that's uh, wrong. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough then, folks. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. As uh, Jovanetti is about to come under attack from uh, the man Gasly. That should be a no contest fight done before the hairpin comes into view. Ding, ding. Seconds out. Giovinazzi down the position. Yeah, Gasly up to P12. As, uh, well. <laughs> We're still out in the lead. Four laps uh, left in this uh, Chinese Grand Prix. And I think we're starting to drop Devon Butler again. Uh, 1.7 seconds is the gap. Lewis Hamilton's only a second back. If he stays within range of Butler, we may see Hamilton pass Butler in a second. And that would be uh, good. Because that would mean uh, we can just pull away into the distance and not have to worry about uh, Lewis Hamilton. Though then, uh, again, we may have to worry about Lewis Hamilton. Because uh, we know Hamilton's AI is... It's immense. Don't ask me how it's immense, but it is immense. Just take my word for it. If you, if you don't believe me, who who do you believe? In fact, he's right behind. He's half a second behind Butler. I would assume as we get on the curb on the exit of uh, the tight uh, chicane onto this fast sweeper. I would assume, yeah, here we go. He's really, really close. He's not going to DRS. He's going to do this uh, the old-fashioned way. And it's going to be done the old-fashioned way. Side by side, the Mercedes and the Ferrari will go down to the hairpin. And I think that is job done. Yes, it might be. No, he's still there. Is uh, Devon Butler. But uh, Hamilton's got the job done. P2 will be Lewis Hamilton's. And now we got to go. Get it. This is why we saved the ERS. Get it into highs. Drift through the last corner. And we've got three laps uh, to defend from uh, the five-time champion. Six-time champion now that he won in this season. Prick. Oh, I tell you what, this has been the greatest race of our career so far. I, I would say this race is probably going to be greater than our Monaco victory. That's how good. <coughs> excuse me. That's how good this has been. I, I, I would go that that far. Sorry, but that that's simple. Oh, very deep. Oh, that's going to bring him into play. Come on. Car, what are you doing? He's right behind us now. That's oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to really defend like mad in a second. You can see the defending uh, coming from a mile away as well. It's uh, not gonna end pretty, and it's not gonna end uh, in the right way as well. As we go through this double left-hander, and uh, you can see him now. He's in the wings and he is large and in charge if he's coming past he's got to do this the old-fashioned way as we go into the sweeper to go onto the long back straight what drs enabled drs oh no now right now we gotta go now we gotta go because if he's got drs then we're in trouble because he's gonna have the speed the momentum 
and we're just going to kick it into overtake, kick it in a hot lap and do everything. You want the corner? You're going outside. No, he's going to go inside. They side by side down into the hairpin. Myself and Lewis Hamilton, we give him room. He's gone all over the curves, clunky, and thank God he went all over the curve, because if he did, didn't, uh, I think he was uh, straight into our side, and that would have been uh, race over, game over. As uh, we go back to Hollywood, Lance Stroll, he's fighting with uh, Ma Kevin Magnussen. Kevin Magnussen's actually just re breezed past Stroll there for th that position. P15, so uh, maybe his problem's finally fixed. It's took him all race to figure it out. Now we've got two laps left. It's not worth coming in pitting for dry tyres if the rain stop. We just better on going with these inters and going to the end of the race. That is uh, what I would say the uh, the plan is from here. Go to the end of the race on the... Oh, as Hamilton thinks about a move on the outside, but we're going to give him the room. Give him the room. Give him the space. Give him the respect. And uh, he'll stay in P2 for the moment. For the moment, people. I don't expect him to uh, be staying there any time soon, though. He's going to look to uh, put a move on us. And put a move on us big time. Because if he doesn't put that move on us, then uh, we're going to be in a hell of a heap of trouble. Here it comes. That move. He's going to go the outside. Uh, yeah, you're going... The oh, we got very deep. That's not going to be side by side. What on earth is going on, folks? Wow, we've just held on there. Few have we held on. And I mean we have held on uh, massively there as we go down the back straight. We're defending the inside line this time. You want it, you're coming outside, Lewis. And you're going outside instead. I don't think he's uh, going to make the move, though. And we move across the track into the hairpin and uh, take the racing line as normal as uh, we go to Giovinazzi. Somewhere around here might be Kevin Magnuson. I don't know where. There he is. Meow. That was a, a breeze past if uh, ever there was one. And move him up into P14. As uh, behind him, George Russell is starting to make moves. And uh, George is uh, in P16. He's not had a very good race here, George. He's now P50. Yeah, so he's still P16. Because uh, he's just overtaken Hollywood Lance Stroll uh, for that position. And oh, almost deep into uh, the hairpin. Is Stroll still on his outside? No, he's not. So uh, we're on the final lap, folks. Look at it. It is as close as you like between myself and Lewis Hamilton. He's uh, thinking about the outside. We've overcooked it. Oh, we've overcooked it. Side by side. Oh, a bit of contact there. That was wheel to wheel. That's fine. Hamilton has the race lead. No. All that work. All that. Right. Right. You're, you're having this. Boom. Get out of the way. Coming through. Coming through. You want it? Come get it, Lewis. And I'm telling you, you want it? You come get it. Because uh, we're having this race victory. I think we've uh, deserved it as well. On the intermediates that are wearing out absolutely as fast as you like. The dry weather's come. And the dry weather is going to decide... Who wins this race? The intermediate actually holding on pretty well, actually. As uh, we go down the long back straight, this is going to be Lewis Hamilton's last chance if he's ever going to get it. He's got DRS open. I imagine he'll have all engine modes available, all out attack. He's not going to come through, folks. All we got to do is hold on for one corner. And we've got this. Ah, oh, can you, Adam and Evit? I told you this earlier, I'll tell you this again. Uh, it's the greatest race of our career. The greatest race of our career. Get in! P12 to P1! Get in there! Yes, sir! <laughs> what a victory!
You know it. What a victory. What a victory. P1 from, oh sorry, 11th on the grid. I thought it was 12th. What a race though, folks. What a race. Greatest race of our career. That's all I'm going to say. That's all that can be said there. Fastest lap as well. We were on it from the word go like a car bonnet. Lewis Hamilton, Devon Butler rounded out the podium. Finished uh, by eight tenths then. Uh, Verstappen, Bottas, uh, Perez, Albon for a good finish. Uh, Vettel, Grosjean and Charles Leclerc bringing home uh, a point for Haas in piece 10. And one DNF, which we didn't see unfortunately, Lucas Weber, who's uh, really struggling. What's Claire going to have to say, folks? What is she going to have to say? Good day today. On a race. Have your take on it. It was a good day today. Not a good race for Lucas. How do you think... Why should I give a shit finish? about Lucas Weber? He seems to struggle this season. Uh, just rep up my team. You shared a few podiums with Devon back in F2. Uh, How does it feel in Formula 1? Devon Butler can go fuck himself. Why are you asking me stupid questions? You really cut your way Thank you. A question that can help me now. Honestly, woman. Uh, what do we need? Chassis. You're surpassing all expectations. Uh, not really. Should we get more chassis? Or should we get aero? No, we'll go with powertrain. We'll get some more powertrain going. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your time. Uh, I do hate it when she asks stupid questions about something that's not my race. I mean, uh, it's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But come on. 11th to 1st. We, we had the car. We had the strategy. We had everything today. Uh, what can we get? Probably not a lot going into Baku. But we could probably get uh, some kind of engine upgrade. I just wanted to say congrats on the podium. It's thoroughly deserved. We were sweating those last few laps on the pit wall, but you brought it home. It's thoroughly deserved, I agree. Looks like Let's have a look. What we got there? 1978 Team Lotus 79. That was Fittipaldi's, weren't it? Not uh, quite a press clip in. Ian Paul flew through the pack. What's uh, their secret? Definitely before new stream. Well, can't put a finger on it. New aero package. <laughs> no, it's not a new aero package, Lucas. I assure you. Uh, not the best way to end the race. Uh, not the best for Lucas Weber. It's upset with another driver DNFs because there's less competition. Amen. Uh, judging the race, it was pretty hard to fend off Ian Paul. Don't wrong. Uh, but I think you're being too quick to underestimate my own driving. Hey man, you're all that you wanted to have didn't hold back of the champagne, uh, just like we don't hold back when racing. Devon Butler, folks, he, he's just got one of those faces you just want to punch over and over again. Right then, what can we get? Answer that question is not a lot. So, if we can get that one. Yeah, if we get that engine upgrade, it's going to unlock a major, which we could probably get for Austria if we play our cards right. So let's get this for Azerbaijan. That'll give us an even bigger power advantage on that bloody two kilometer long straight than the, we already needed. Well, what was that? We started 11th, we finished uh, P1. That's uh, 10 positions. 10 likes, folks. Let's uh, get straight to that point. Uh, and thank you for watching the channel. I hope you all uh, enjoyed. You can subscribe for more daily. F1 2019, Snooker 19, NASCAR Heat 4, WRC 7. We've got other live streams that go on throughout the week as well on many, many games. Like, there are too many to even mention. And uh, we're going to go and take on this uh, Team Lotus 1978 Overtake Challenge at Spain with Lewis Hamilton. So until the next video, thank you all for watching. Uh, and we hope to see you all next time on the top step of the podium. Take care.